If you're starting to fill your sleep window with sleep and you're starting to think of extending or increasing the amount of time you allot for sleep, is it best to start your sleep window a little bit earlier or end it a little bit later? Well, this is what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. Hi, I'm Martin Reed. If you have insomnia, I offer sleep coaching programs that will give you all the skills and support you need to enjoy better sleep for the rest of your life. You can learn more at insomniacoach.com. So our primary goal with the sleep window is to help build sleep drive, to help you fall asleep at the start of the night and reduce the amount of time you spend awake throughout the night. And this is really helpful because it can be reassuring, you know, that sleep drive is still present. When you start to allot a more appropriate amount of time for sleep, you will generally start to feel more sleepy as your earliest possible bedtime approaches. And this can be quite reassuring. Many people with chronic insomnia have kind of lost that sensation of sleepiness and it's kind of being replaced by this just ever present feeling of fatigue and just exhaustion. So when you get that sensation of sleepiness back, it can be really reassuring. And when it starts to take a little bit less time for you to fall asleep at the start of the night, and when you start to spend a little bit less time awake during the night, it can help build your sleep confidence. And when you start to worry a little bit less about sleep, sleep generally starts to get a little bit easier. So if you've been implementing a sleep window and you're noticing that over the past week or two, you've really been filling that sleep window with sleep and you feel as though you might be able to get more sleep if you allot a little bit more time for sleep, then you can start to extend that sleep window out. Now, I typically suggest doing this in small increments, you know, something between 15 minutes and half an hour, and then setting it and forgetting it just giving yourself a week, ideally two weeks with that new sleep window before evaluating how effective that new sleep window is for you. Now, when it comes to whether you should add that time onto the start, in other words, start the sleep window earlier or add it onto the end, in other words, allow yourself to get out of bed a little bit later, really it's up to you. Um, what I tend to find is that people who really struggle to stay awake for the beginning of the sleep window might do better by accounting for the extension by allowing themselves to go to bed a little bit earlier. Uh, for people who are really struggling to get out of bed by the end of the sleep window, it might be worth accounting for the extension by allowing yourself some extra time in bed in the morning. It really doesn't matter too much if you add the time onto the beginning of the sleep window or the end. Just do whatever feels right for you. Um, and make sure that you're not tempted to evaluate that new sleep window within the first few nights. You really want to give it at least a week, ideally two, before you reflect back and think on how well that new sleep window is working for you. Um, the only other thing that is worth mentioning here is if you are going to account for the extension by starting your sleep window a little bit earlier, remember that the start of your sleep window is always your earliest possible bedtime. So if you're all of a sudden starting your sleep window a little bit earlier in the night, for the first few nights, you might not feel sleepy enough for sleep when that new sleep window begins. So make sure that you see that start of the sleep window as your earliest possible bedtime. Only allow yourself to go to bed when you feel sleepy enough for sleep. And then as always, no matter what happens, always try to be out of bed by the end of your sleep window in the morning. So I hope you found this short video helpful. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. I do try to share some new sleep snippet videos every week. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, or suggestions for a future video, please leave a comment below, or you can email me directly. My email address is hello at insomniacoach.com. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'd like to leave you with this important reminder. You can sleep.